Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. We're in Cleburne, Texas. Thought I'd give you a little driving tour this evening. I'm uh, working on another video. Chisholm Trail Museum. This is what they, uh, this is what they call a tourist trap right here. <laughs> Actually, uh, I've seen some neat things on Facebook about this place. Chisholm Trail. So, they had some live music here, I think Saturday. Maybe we can just drive in and drive out and show you what's outside. But I thought we'd do a little driving video and I am uh, gonna make a video of kind of the downtown area of uh, Cleburne. And apparently you pay a fee here when it is open and uh, you walk, you get to walk through this area here where there is teepees and wigwams. And I see some uh, log cabin like structures back there. I see a bison. That's pretty sweet. Big Bear Native American Museum. So what do you guys think? Has anyone been there? Let me know. Is this uh, a legit museum or is it a gift shop? <laughs> I'm just backing up enough to turn around here. It's always nice to start off the video with a U-turn. But we were going by here. Jim at the Dogman Chronicles, dogs must remain leashed. They don't really mean it though, they're just kidding. And then over here, I think is where they have uh, live music and stuff. At this building over here. Terry's Texas Rangers. I know there is one gentleman here that uh, apparently does really good speeches for um, like the history of the area but that's all closed right now I think it's just open on the weekends but I didn't want to drive by it lots of bumps we have cooler weather coming so I think this video will get posted Monday evening at 5 p.m. that's my plan and tomorrow night at some point Tuesday here for uh, at least the next week the temperatures overnight are going to be in the mid 50s to low 60s and that sounds like awesome sleep in the weather to me I believe that is Lake Pat Cleburne and we're gonna pop off here Take business 67, kind of the main drag through Cleburne with all the retail stores and chain stores. I forget what the population was here and I'm gonna do facts and stuff when I do a proper edited video with bells and whistles and get my little cheat sheet and jot down facts I did see that there was and I only read the headline and I saved the article um, a fighter plane a Navy fighter plane out of Kingsville I believe crashed at Lake Worth not too far from here and uh, I was in a bad area and I was trying to read the article and it just wouldn't load. So what I think I'll do there is uh, once I get back to a place, uh, a lot of this town has really good 5G. Um, I'll read that article then, but there are just some lovely parks here. So I found a good legal place to park overnight and then uh, taking these road trips that some of you guys have been watching the last few days. 
and I greatly appreciate that. First Church of the Nazarene. There's a Sonic. But then uh, spending the afternoons at a uh, one of the local parks, finding a spot in the shade and doing all my editing and answering comments and all that kind of fun stuff. This town must have a thousand places to eat. <laughs> and I did try one of them. Where did we go? What was that place called with the really good burgers? Handy Burgers. Morris Neal's Handy Burgers. That was it. That was Friday's Feast. So, let me tell you about my, my adventure at the park yesterday. I was at uh, one of the parks, and I don't even remember the name. And uh, there was probably eight or ten car parking there. And I, I was in an empty park with a lot. And a guy came up and parked right next to me, like winded a window. And rolled down his window and started talking to me. Didn't ask me for money. It wasn't a hustle. He just wanted someone to talk to. So I, I listened to him for a while. And then I said, okay, got to go. And I drove over to this big, huge open field where I'm, I'm talking about 10 football fields. And as I get over there and I pull into one of those spots, um, a guy immediately pulls up on the, to the grass next to me, an older guy, and talks at me for 20 minutes. <laughs> and I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> I wanted to tell him you need to go talk to that guy parked, uh, over by the tree over there. You guys need to get together. Oh, they got a discount tire here, guys. I might get my tires rotated while I'm in town. They got a Walmart. They got a dollar store. I'm afraid to go to the Dollar General. Not the Dollar General, the Dollar Tree. Because my buddy Jim from Dogman Chronicles says they have good cookies there. And I know if I go into that store, it's going to be all over. <laughs> give me $18 worth of cookies, please. Anything else? Yeah, give me that Diet Coke. <laughs> I uh, came to Cleburne 10, 12 years ago a few times. The boys had a buddy up here. And uh, he lived in Rockport, and then he moved up here. And uh, we came up here a couple times and uh, picked him up and uh, stayed the weekend or uh, one weekend we picked him up and we went to Dallas and I got to see uh, Dealey Plaza where President Kennedy was murdered. Yeah. He was murdered when I was less than two. And I've read a lot of good things about President Kennedy. I like President Kennedy, but like every human being, he was flawed. He was flawed. Lots of churches, Crossroads Church. One, one weird, uh, now there's a flag right there, cool. I'm so used to knowing where things are around the Rockport area. Whenever I wanna know if it's windy, I can look at the palm trees and the flags, but there's not a whole lot of trees in areas like this. Once you get away from the towns, of course there are, but I've had trouble knowing uh, if my windows were up, if the wind was blowing. Because right before I get out of the car, that I, I check the wind to see if I need the external microphone or not. So we shall see. If someone could recommend a good microphone for an iPhone 12, an external mic that actually lasts longer than a month or two, please let me know. Because I have had nothing but trouble with microphones. I probably have gone through five or six of them. coming up on kind of the 
the old downtown area. And I haven't explored Cleburne all that much. Man, the high school here, when you, uh, the high school football field, it's awesome. It looks like a prison from the front because uh, they built the facade with the old stone, you know? And uh, yeah, I bet you that's intimidating when uh, people come into town for football games for the first time. You know, I know what that is. I can't remember. I think that's the old city hall. I think my buddy Richard that we met at the restaurant. Isn't this nice? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to uh, do a video from here and get out and read some signs. And oh, look at that. They have some historic buildings here. I haven't gone this far yet. Well, that's nice. We need that. You guys want to go to the boot outlet? <laughs> I have some nice boots. I think it's that time of the year where I take my blue jeans that I haven't wore since I started boondocking and my one dress shirt and uh, wash them. When I wash them, I need to just hang them up in the back. And I should have done that a year and a half ago. Because there have been times that I wanted to go somewhere where you have to dress a little nicer. And I didn't go because I know my alleged dress clothes are uh, wrinkled. Fortunately, in the Rockport area, you can go to church in shorts and a t-shirt. Some people dress up, but... Ooh, what is this building? Yeah, this is nice. I like, uh, Cleburne's pretty neat. And I kind of need to park somewhere and do a little exploring around the downtown area. Let's go a little bit further, guys. What the heck? Let's be wild today. That's what we're known for. Being wild men. Time for a shameless plug, guys. Check the uh, links in the description of this video. What in the name of Jamie Macon is going on over here? Jamie, Google, you ready? Cleburne 1896 Railroad House. What is going on there, Jamie? Do I need to go there? Jamie, Frankie, Danny, Let's go. Information. I feel like this is a one-way street and they tried to cover up that yellow line. Now let's make another pass, guys. So here's the deal, guys. If you see anything interesting, I have not shot this downtown area yet, so you let me know. There's the Claiborne Technical Center. What is this building? Hey, Paul, what is this building? No one is behind me, so that's good. Why is there a horse here? Kind of looks like the King Ranch shop. Look at that, guys. How the hell did they get that horse up there? <laughs> hey, I'm digging this street. I should have came here uh, yesterday. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull over here and let the traffic pass. And now I'm gonna go. Thank you. Someone let me go, guys. Someone had some Southern hospitality with just a little bit of Western attitude. <laughs> they let me go. Yeah, I like this little downtown area, guys. Who knew? I see one more cool thing on the next street. Oh, pretty lady. Hello, pretty lady. That is my, well, you know what? Let's go down one more. Yeah, we need to come film here, huh? 
Okay. We can do that. Well, it looks like I'm going to go one more street because I can't make a right here. The light was yellow, officer. <laughs> All right. Is this a parking lot or a street? Let's find out. It's a street. We're on Mill Street. And is this going to be a one-way street? What is this building? Chinese Kung Fu Kempo. And I actually studied Kempo for a few years and learned how to punch people in the face. Huh. Well, okay, I'm assuming this isn't a one-way street. Central Fire Station. I think we need to go back to that karate school and challenge their master to a duel. Lowell History Center. Is that what that said? Am I reading that right? Look at these buildings. Wow. Wow. What is that? Look at that place, guys. Hi. 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 Now, I, I just got the roof on. Your dog can go to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. She was nice. She actually ducked out of the way. <laughs> and I apologize, guys. I definitely screwed up. Hit a bump, shut the camera off. That's how I roll. <laughs> you guys let me know if you saw anything that you'd like me to go back and check out in detail. And uh, yeah, I'll go back and do that. There are some really cool looking buildings and I'll go back and film them from better angles and get some information on them. There's a Texas flag for you. Got a H-E-B. They got everything in Cleburne, guys. Hey, thanks for riding along tonight, guys. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.